give up what? My toy bugle that I thought I lost. <laughs> I wonder how it ever got lost way up on the top shelf of the linen closet. I wonder. Well, if you're so smart, why don't you hide it next time? <laughs> of sulfur and a gallon of blackstrap molasses. Well, that ought to be enough to last George while he's on his trip. He wouldn't think of going through the spring without being fortified by sulfur and molasses. Hey, my dear old mother used to say there's nothing better as a spring tonic. Oh, do you take it too? Me? You know, frankly, it's all I can do to sell it. <laughs> well, just put this on our bill. I better get back and help George pack. Yeah, all right, thank you, Mrs. Wilson, and call again. Hi, Mrs. Wilson. Hi, Mrs. Wilson. Oh, hello, boys. Hi, Mr. Quigley. I've got a grocery list here somewhere that my mom wants you to fill. Has Mr. Wilson left on his trip yet? No, he's leaving this afternoon. We sure are going to miss good old Mr. Wilson. We were counting on him to coach our baseball team again this year. Yeah, now we're going to have to find somebody else. Dennis' dad can't do it, because he'll be out of town too much of the season. Did you ask Mr. Schneider? You mean over at Schneider's Market across the street? Yes. Schneider? Why him of all people? George says he was a very good baseball player in high school. He thought he'd be a good coach for the boys. Well, goodbye. Bye, Mrs. Wilson. What do you think, Tommy? Shall we go ask Mr. Schneider? Sure. He's a nice guy. Okay, come on. Just a bit of Dennis. Uh, don't you want me to fill that grocery list for you? Thanks just the same, Mr. Quigley. But we'll get Mr. Schneider to fill it out while we talk to him about baseball. Come well, on, Tommy. Wait a minute now. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, I used to be quite a baseball player myself. You're kidding. Did you really, Mr. Quigley? As good as Mr. Schneider? Schneider. If I couldn't play baseball as good as Sam Schneider, I'd... Say, did I ever tell you about the time I stretched a bunt into a home run? Gosh, no. How'd you do that? Well, I... Uh... Let me have that grocery list, Dennis, and I'll uh, tell you while I'm filling it. <laughs> Why, this is a nice order. One dozen eggs. Go on, Mr. Quigley. Tell us how you did it. Yeah, I just bet a bunt into a home run. Well, I was mighty fast. Well, like you must have been. Let's see, two quarts of milk and uh, two boxes of vanilla wafers. Hey, don't change the subject. Yeah. How'd you make a homer on a bunt? Well, I put a little English on the bunt, see? And before the pitcher could get to it, it veered off toward third. Boy! Before the third baseman could get his hands on it, I was around second. And the first baseman called, throw the ball to me. Why did the first baseman want the ball if you were already at second? Well... I went past first so fast that he didn't even see me. When I had a third baseman threw the ball to first, I was heading for home in a cloud of dust. What happened after that? Nothing. After that, whenever I ran the bases, they called the game on account of dust. Otis, you must be out of your mind, thinking you can coach a baseball team. Oh, now, Dolly. Of all the crazy ideas, this takes the cake. You don't know a thing about coaching. Well, I can learn, can't I? After all, ten years ago, you said I didn't know anything about running a grocery store. Ten years ago? I said that ten minutes ago. <laughs> now, honey, but listen to me. I couldn't very well let him go to Snyder's, could I? First thing you know, he'd have them all as customers. Another thing, if they pick you, who's going to mind the store while you're out coaching? Well, I thought maybe you would. Oh, goody! In addition to the cooking, the scrubbing, the mending, the cleaning, the washing, the ironing, the gardening, you're going to let me take care of the store. Lucky me. Now, honey, man, think what this will mean to us. On the back of every one of those T-shirts, I'll have Quigley's Market. Now, there are nine boys on every team, and they each have two parents, and they have sisters and brothers and uncles and aunts, and they all eat food. And with me as coach, who do you think they're going to buy it from? Well, don't be disappointed if they get smart and don't ask you. 
<laughs> I'm as good as electric. Well, Hi, boys, Mrs. come Hi, right Hi, in. Hi, Hi, Mrs. Quigley. Hi, Mrs. Quigley. Hi, Mrs. Quigley. Hi, boy. Well, gentlemen, to what do I owe the honor of this visit? Mr. Quigley, we've elected you to be coach of the Pee Wee baseball team. You hear that, Dolly? Isn't that nice? Lovely. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll let you boys talk baseball. All right. <laughs> what do you say, Mr. Quigley? Will you be our coach? In the words of that great patriot, Cincinnatus, I defer to the will of destiny. What do you say? He sounds like he's going to coach for Cincinnati. No, 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 no. That means I accept. Oh, boy. Two, four, six, eight. Pluto, we appreciate Coach Wiggly. Yay! <laughs> Gentlemen, if we can get Sandy Koufax to cooperate, it'll be the biggest thing that's happened to our town since William Gibbs McAdoo lost his hat in our hotel check room. Now, the question is, who do we get to contact Mr. Koufax? As I see it... Yes, Luella? Mr. Otis Quigley is here to see you, sir. Oh, send him right in. You know Otis Quigley. Big help to me in my last campaign. <laughs> Come in. Good morning, Mayor. Gentlemen. Good morning, Otis. Oh, I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, not at all, Otis. What's on your mind? Well, our team in the Pee Wee League has elected me their coach. Really? Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. And so as coach, I've come down here to see what the city can do about giving them some new uniforms. Well, now, Otis, as much as we'd like to help, there isn't anything in the city budget for peewee baseball uniforms. <laughs> After all, Mr. Mayor, uh, these boys are our future leaders. Every one of them a prospective customer, a uh, voter. <laughs> Got a point there, Otis. Tell you what. Sandy Koufax is coming to town for a few days. Sandy who? Sandy Koufax, a famous pitcher with the Dodgers. He's arriving tomorrow to visit his aunt. Really? Yes. And I had the idea to... Uh, <coughs> Lloyd and I had the idea to contact Mr. Koufax about getting the Dodgers to play an exhibition game in the spring right here in our own town. Why, Mr. Mayor and Lloyd. That's a wonderful idea. Yes. And I'll make you a proposition, Otis. I'll see what I can do about getting uniforms for the Pee Wees if you'll contact Mr. Koufax and sell him on this exhibition game idea. You bet I will. And another thing, I'll make you chairman of the welcoming committee if the Dodgers come to town. You do that? Right. <laughs> Mayor, I compliment you on your choice. <laughs> and believe me, as coach of our Pee Wee team, I'm eminently qualified for this important assignment. Fine, Otis. We're depending on you. Here's his aunt's address where he'll be staying. Thank you. And don't you worry about a thing. I'll get on just dandy with Sandy. <laughs> <laughs> dandy with Sandy. <laughs> It close right in. I'll stand over here by Dennis. All right. Ready for the picture. For heaven's sakes, Mr. Quigley, turn them around so I can see their faces. <laughs> no. Well, all right, fellas. Turn around. Here, here. Let's see. Let's see. That's it. All right. Shoot. Well, that was fine. I'll get some more shots when you're in action. Good. When will the picture be in the paper, Mr. Quigley? Well, Dennis, what difference does it make? It'll be in tomorrow evening's edition, Dennis. Not till then? <laughs> right. Oh. Well, all right, boys, let's get at it. Tommy, you catch, and Dennis, you come with me. Everybody warm up now. Now, let's go. All right, now, Dennis. I want you to show me how you throw a good curveball. Good curveball coming up. All right. Ready, Tommy? Yep. Wait a minute, Dennis. No, you can't get any power into a pitch without a wind-up. You can't? Certainly not. Now, here, here, let me show you. That's right, you stand right over there. All right, Tommy, a fast one right over the plate. <laughs> I'll put on my space and go after that one. <laughs> Well, 
I, I'm a little wild yet. I'm not warmed up. So that just shows you the value of early spring training. Now, here, here. You know how to do it now. Let me see you try it. Here you are. Here's the ball. <laughs> Just wound up like this anymore. Excuse me, but I think he's right. He'll just wear himself out like that. Is that so? <laughs> what do you know about pitching? Well, I know I've got a lot to learn, but... I should say you have. Now, let me tell you something, sport. I'm the coach here, and I don't need help from every Tom, Dick, and Harry that wanders in here. Now, you go on about your own business, if you've got any. Hey, aren't you Sandy Colfax? That's right. just for a few days. Hey, if you're going to be around for a while, how about giving us some pointers on baseball? Yeah, we sure could do with a coach who knows what it's all about. <laughs> how about it, Sandy? Will you coach us? I'd be happy to. It'll give me a chance to work out a little. Oh, boy, we'll be a cinch to win the Pee Wee League championship now. <laughs> Sandy? Sandy? Hey, Sandy, how about a picture, Sandy? Fine. Hey, I want to be in it, too. Well, you can all be in it. Let's go over there. I want to see it! But after all, I'm... Yeah, I'm... I guess I'm not needed around here. <laughs> and after I'd insulted Colfax, I couldn't very well ask him for a favor. Well, didn't you even try to apologize? Well, I didn't have a chance with all that commotion going on. Anyway, it wasn't my fault. How'd I know it was Sandy Koufax? The mayor said he wouldn't be in town till tomorrow. Well, I told you not to believe everything that mayor says. Dolly, you should have seen the way those boys crowded around Sandy Koufax, totally ignoring me. And after I spent all that money for those T-shirts. <laughs> yeah, first thing you know, Koufax will open up a grocery store. Dolly, don't say that. I feel bad enough already. <laughs> now I know how Casey Stengel felt. <laughs> Hello? Yes, he's here. It's the mayor, coach. <laughs> I'll ever explain this to him. Hello, Your Honor. Otis, I just heard that Sandy Koufax is already in town. Yeah, I know. Well, did you speak to him? Yes, I, uh, I spoke to him. Good. What did he say? Well, things are kind of up in the air at the moment. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, with all that commotion going on, people milling around, and... Now, Otis, don't you goof on this. We're depending on you, so get on the ball. <laughs> Did you get it, Otis? I'm talking about baseball, and I say, get on the ball. Pretty funny, eh, Otis? <laughs> oh, yes, Mr. Mayor, it's very funny. Very, very funny. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Dolly, help me. What am I going to do? Stop blubbering and go apologize to the man. Well, I guess I'll have to. If I don't get Koufax cooperation, I won't be head of that welcoming committee if the Dodgers do come to town. The mayor gave me his address. I'll go talk to Koufax right after dinner. That's a good idea. Say, wait a minute. Why don't we ask him here for dinner? No, forget it. Tonight's no night to have a Dodger here. Why not? You know what we're having? Yankee pot roast. <laughs> oh, you're as funny as the mayor. <laughs> uh, good evening. Is uh, Sandy Koufax staying here? Yes, I'm his Aunt Harriet. Oh, I'm delighted to meet you. I'm Otis Quigley. I wonder if I might see Sandy. Well, he's shaving right now, but he'll be out in a minute, if you care to wait. Oh, thank you. Won't you sit down? Oh, uh, thank you. Hmm. Oh, you're so nice and polite, you remind me of Hack Wilson. Did you know Hack? Hack? <laughs> Hack Wilson, power hitter for the Chicago Cubs. 
R.B.I. champ, 1930. R.B.I.? <laughs> Runs batted in. Old Hack's got the all-time record. Knocked in 190 in one season. Oh, well, that hack. <laughs> Boy, could he ever suck that old apple. He's one of the top all-time home run hitters. Banged out 244. Remarkable. <laughs> you say you never knew him. You no, know, no, I didn't know him. I'm very sorry. <laughs> what do you want to see Sandy about? Well, Sandy and I had a little misunderstanding this afternoon, and yeah, I came here to apologize. Oh, Sandy never holds a grudge. He's the most generous, forgiving boy in the world. Well, I'm certainly glad to hear that. It's very important that Sandy and I get on good terms. Is that his bat? That's my bat. I swung a mean willow in the old days. You, mean you played baseball? Played shortstop for the Harrisburg Hurricanes, semi-pro. <laughs> I hold a lifetime batting average of 300. Oh, you mean softball. Softball. What do you think I am, a sissy? The hottest team in southern Pennsylvania. We had four nurses, two manicurists, two mail order secretaries, and a lady blacksmith. <laughs> well, I was pretty good with the bat once myself. I remember one time, I was playing with my hometown team. And the tying run was at third when I came to the plate. The pitcher threw me a drop, but I was ready for it. I watched the ball come nearer and nearer, and then I swung. Oh, oh I'm terribly now sorry. Now what you've done. You all right, Sandy? Well, at least it's not broken. Oh, I feel terrible about this. Oh, thank heaven, anyway, it's his left arm. He can still pitch. Knucklehead, Sandy's a softball. Oh! Sandy, I'll rub that arm down with some alcohol, and then I'll put the heat back. <laughs> Hello? Oh, uh, just a minute. Otis, it's that Yaki Mayor. I'm not in. Well, you'll only call back. You pitch for life, I will. <laughs> Look over. I have to go to the bank. Hello, Mr. Mayor. I just came in. Otis, what's this I hear about you insulting Sandy Koufax by not even knowing who he was? Well, Mr. Mayor, you see... You're darn tootin', I see. I see I've picked the wrong man for the job. But, Mr. Mayor... A famous personality comes to visit our fair city, and you insult him. I can explain if you'll only listen to me. Quigley, I didn't get where I am today by listening. I should have known better than to entrust you with an important civic responsibility. And you can forget about being chairman of the welcoming committee. I'll handle it myself. <laughs> the blackest day of my life. Hi, Mr. Quigley. Hi, Mr. Quigley. Hello, uh, Mitchell. Well, Dennis, I didn't expect to see you as long as Sandy Koufax is in town. Uh, Dennis told me about that. That's why we're here to talk to you. Yes, we missed you at baseball practice. Well, that's hard to believe, Dennis. Obviously, with Koufax here, you don't need me. We do, too, need you, Mr. Quigley. Sandy's only going to be here a few days. Come out this afternoon, will you please? Well, Dennis, why don't you run on out to baseball practice and let me talk to Mr. Quigley? Okay. But make him come, will you, Dad? Even Sandy Colfax says we've got to have a coach. But if Mr. Quigley doesn't show up, he'll send over his Aunt Harriet. His aunt? Of all the nerve. Well, after all, Mr. Quigley, the boys did elect you their coach. I think you're letting them down. I'm letting them down. You didn't see them ignore me to crowd around Sandy Koufax. <laughs> Come on, Mr. Quigley, how about it? After all, Sandy will only be here for a short time, and then who's going to coach the boys? Well, I'll have to think it over. Is that Harriet? I've thought it over. Let's go. <laughs> now, Dennis, this is the way you hold the ball when you throw a slider. Boy, I sure do want to learn that. By the way, Dennis, what happened to Mr. Quigley? I thought you were going to bring him back with you today. Well... He says as long as we've got you, we don't need him. For once, he's right. Watch it now, Rodney. That's not nice. Besides, you know I'm going to leave in a few days. I feel like a fifth wheel around here, Mitchell. Nonsense. You're the main cog. And I don't think you ought to put off talking to Koufax. Oh, I don't want to disturb him now. I better wait this long. Hi, Mr. Quigley. Boy, I'm glad you decided to come. You're just in time to help us with batting practice. 
No, for the time being, Dennis, I'm here merely as an observer. All right, you guys, let's sharpen up our batting eyes. <laughs> we'll burn my toast. Is she taking over? Don't let her, Mr. Quigley. We don't want a woman coaching us how to bat. I should say not. <laughs> You'll get better results, son, if you choke your bat a little more. If you don't mind, I'm the coach here. Is that so? Yes, that's so. <laughs> Trouble with you, Alvin. You're choking the bat too much. Hold it here. Then you get some real power in your swing. Oh, boy, Mr. Quigley, you show him. <laughs> How about it, Sandy? You ready? Okay, Tommy. I promised the boys I'd pitch a few. <laughs> I told them I'd umpire. Now, look, Alvin. You gotta get the bat up high, up high like this, then you can get some power when you swing. Now look, you fellas get over there behind the backstop. I'll uh, show you what I mean. Someone will just throw me one. He will. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Dennis, you take this. I don't feel like swinging a bat today. Oh, go on, Mr. Quigley, hit a few. Well, I, I, I... <laughs> how can he show anybody how to bat when he falls apart just standing there? Yeah, he's supposed to be our coach, and he's afraid of bat against Sandy. He is not afraid. Are you, Mr. Quigley? No, but, uh... <laughs> Kill me with that ball. <laughs> Sandy, is there something you can do to make him look good out there? He's having a rough time with the kids. Well, he closes his eyes every time he swings. Maybe I can hit his bat. <laughs> Poor guy, he's nervous. The mayor asked him to talk to you about getting a Dodgers out here for an exhibition game and offered him the chairmanship of the welcoming committee. Oh, I'll try it again. little city and I want to welcome you. Well, thank you, sir. At the same time, I want to apologize for the miserable treatment you received at the hands of, uh, Quigley here. <laughs> what do you mean, Mayor? Mr. Quigley and I are friends. Oh, oh you are? <laughs> he just hit a home run off me. One of the longest I've ever seen. Oh? Well, I must have been misinformed. Well, that's not unusual. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Kopax, the reason I'm here is to ask you a favor. Do you suppose you could get the Dodgers to play an exhibition game in our town next spring? Well, I think it's a great idea, and I'll recommend it on one condition. Oh, of course, of course. What is it? That my good friend, Mr. Quigley, be made chairman of the welcoming committee. He's a real <laughs> baseball fan. He's doing a great job with these kids. Why, sure thing, Mr. Kovax. Otis, the whole kit and caboodle is in your hands. Oh, really? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And Sandy. I want to apologize for bawling you out yesterday, not to mention almost knocking you out with the bat. <laughs> Forget it, Coach. After being bawled out by Walter Alston, you sounded almost friendly. Put her there. <laughs> you bet I will. <laughs> Boy, that's great. Well, okay, you guys. Let's hear it for Coach Quigley. Two, four, six, eight. Put away your Coach Quigley,
This has been a Screen Gems film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.